Okay, so we're now getting to the point where we've done uh, the, some of the initial work and we've looked at how do we find um, a vector from one set of coordinates to another, from one point to another, how do we find the equation of a line that goes through two points, and how do we work out the length of a vector, or the, the distance between two points in three dimensions. So we've got all that now. So now we're getting into more like problem solving parts, and what we're going to be looking at next is how do we tell whether two lines in three dimensions intersect or not. Because ultimately, in two dimensions, you're right. So imagine this is, well, this is a 2D board, okay? If I draw two lines, they're either going to intersect or they're going to be parallel, okay? That's not a very good parallel line, but anyway, imagine that they are, okay? So in two dimensions, that's the only possibilities that we can have. In three dimensions, yes, you can have two lines that intersect, or you can have two lines that are parallel, or you can have two lines that aren't parallel, but they just don't cross each other. And you can imagine that in the grand scheme of things, if you've got two lines that um, are traveling through three-dimensional space, that more often than not, you're going to have two lines that aren't going to have the same uh, direction vectors, so they're not going to be parallel, and just aren't going to meet each other. Okay, so imagine that these two pens are lines in three dimensions. Here they are, traveling in different directions, but they don't ever meet each other. Okay, so in the grand scheme of things, if you just have, if I just write down two, any old lines, um, the likelihood of them intersecting is actually going to be quite small. Um, and, you know, unless I do it uh, on purpose, or I guess by accident as well, um, I could have two lines that have the same direction vector and are parallel, but it's unlikely as well, okay? So we've got three different situations. So we can have intersection, an intersection exists, they could be parallel, or we could have this situation and these are called skew lines, lines that don't have the same uh, direction, but, uh, and rather, don't intersect, okay? And they are known as skew lines. And we are going to look at these three different situations in turn.